Hey everyone, I'm Luis and I have a little surprise for you. This is Blue Axel by Voodoo Gage 2. He has made this drawing as a donation for this video. We are ending the King of Eternal Snow uh, soon, in the next uh, 47 hours. And I thought I'd, I'd speak a bit about the, the rewards you can get in this event. Um, as many of you know, I'm mostly a free-to-play player. I only um, spend um, little little money on the Valkyrie's favor every every time it has to renew. But I don't buy any any uh, specific bundle. I don't buy emeralds. I don't buy any of that stuff. And so I I've um, I've committed to do as much as I can in this event, um, knowing that I have limited amounts of resources. But nonetheless, I've accumulated resources, and it it came to me that it's possibly the the e easiest to do is the energy. I've I've managed to do past four four thousand uh, energy spending, and I will probably meet the six thousand goal, if not eight thousand goal. Depends if I want to spend some uh, energy bottles. With uh, I might I might do that, and um, this one's. I've completed. I'm not sure any anymore what they were about. Um, but I also did some some pet summoning, and this had the the help of you know those uh, uh, special rewards that they put on Facebook, and uh, the the um, the Wars community page. And uh, well, the the rest spending emeralds, buying emeralds. I'm not doing those. I mean. Uh, I can't on spending a bit more emeralds, still 1000 emeralds, but I'm not planning to go to the 3000 mark because I don't want to expend all my, my emeralds. And so I'm doing mostly free to play and I did get quite a lot of help from my guild because we have some, some spenders in the guild. And with that I managed to get uh, a lot of... Uh, now this one is here. This a lot of players bought these these re these uh, bundles here, and in turn I got I got these rewards: the royal deserts and royal deserts and uh, the gold. And this explains why I have so much frosty coins. So I would expect most players would be getting between thirty thousand and fifty thousand or forty thousand frosty coins throughout this event. Uh, I mean, free to player free-to-play players or at least the ones not not uh, specifically buying or getting those 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 rewards from those bundles and um, let's say this is a lot but also goes very fast we have the option of spending those in frosty coffers spending those in the, the downstones and sunstones so basically the these items are gems for uh, um, for upgrading your 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 pets, so basically the um, what you call them the um, the 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 promotion, the pet promotion, like you do for heroes, you can promote heroes with items. You can do also that with your pets in here with these uh, gems or what they are. And lastly, the other option you have here is just evolving um, a biscuit. Now, maybe bis biscuit possibly won't be on your um, main main pets. Possibly won't be the, the the main pet of your team. But it's very likely that you will put um, biscuit in the future as a patron to one of your heroes in one of your one to three teams and um, let's take a look a bit at the the pets so we see here we have uh, at the moment already uh, eight pets so that means you can have um, eight heroes and each of them with one patron with one pet as a patron that means, for example, you can have uh, five of them in one team, or you can spread them out in, in two or three teams. 
Now, uh, Biscuit's uh, skills are, are mostly related to preventing healing uh, on the enemy. Um, basically, the three skills work on that. Preventing and working on, on heroes that use healing. Preventing or uh, mitigating healing. He, he is very versatile because you can put him in um, most if not all the tanks and most if not all the all the ma mages, so all the magic damage dealers, but not all the healers. So basically we have uh, Alvanor here, we have Celeste, we have Maya, and these are, are also uh, mages besides um, healers but we don't have um, for example Tia or Marta or Dorian in here so it, it basically can be can be attributed to to tanks and and um, and mages well this makes for interesting compositions because you can combine him with Celeste uh, you can combine so for also mitigating healing that Celeste does you can you can put him uh, on uh, on Heidi, and Heidi does uh, poison over time, so that's interesting. Um, well, you have you have options here, but um, let's see. Um, I, I would believe the the best, the most interesting thing about this is that you can you can effectu effectively reduce uh, the the capabilities of, of the main team of your enemy team from healing. And if you are having difficulty with that, w with teams that heal a lot, this could be your way out of that troubles. So, of those troubles. So, out of these three options here, what I would recommend, and this is the opinion of, of also many other people, um, I know some YouTubers have already made videos about this, so uh, this is a bit redundant. I'm, I'm just repeating what others have said, but uh, I really believe that getting getting your your biscuit evolved as much as possible would be the best and the reason for that uh, is that getting the soul stones is so hard let's see i have here um four four pets that i have spent the most time developing i could have been focusing on just one pet um, but i i've put efforts in four to get as much patrons as possible early on but you see that I have uh, three stars Albus and uh, three star Oliver and three star Ferens and three star Kane and possibly uh, with the soul stones I have accumulated I could have uh, the same three stars for for Merlin for Axel and for Mara, but I I don't have any tremendous amount of soul stones because these come out uh, randomly from the from the from the pet summoning. And otherwise, you need to have uh, uh, something like the, the the pet chests or, or specific events to get the soul stones. And so, and so the, the pets I have, none of them have have gone past three stars. Although I have um, three pets already, already <laughs> that's a strong word, at uh, 140 ish uh, soul stones out of 500, so about one one fifth. But it's a long way to 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 get to the 500 to get these pets these pets to four stars and eventually more more and more for the five star and six star mark. So this will take quite a while. I've been playing for around three months or so, maybe a little more. And this is what I have managed to do now. Even if I had focused on one pet um, as a free-to-play player, mostly. This would not have changed much. Most I, I could have possibly gotten just one pet to to violet plus two or three or something like that as the promotion. But the rank, the the um, the evolution would not have gone past this because I cannot choose uh, which soul stones go to which pet when I open the summoning. It's just uh, random. So. I would really uh, suggest you guys get as much evolution as you can for Biscuit, even if you don't plan on using him as the, the main pet. Because having 8 pets and attributed to 8 heroes as a patron, that is really, really a good thing to do, really useful. 
and that will help you a lot in the future if you have one more pet that you can um, pay, uh, <laughs> put as patron to, to one of your heroes. So getting, getting this pet to the most evolution possible you can um, is my uh, suggestion. So if you can if you can make him to three stars, go for that. Four stars, five stars, whatever you can, free to play, pay to play, whatever your choice. That would be the the thing that I would recommend. And then if you let's say you, you make him to to four stars, and you have uh, I don't know ten thousand frosty coins left, and you you cannot uh, you don't have enough to to evolve to the, to the next star rank and then I would go for either the items or gems or the frosty coffers the frosty coffers they will give you uh, random rewards the, you can get uh, chaos particles and other stuff from them uh, and while the items all, if you have here specific items that you can get and you know fast forward uh, upgrading your pets then then go for that but i would really get as much evolution as possible on biscuit so this is what i wanted to convene for you guys i'm going now and do some of this so here we go and i've put um, biscuit on two stars for five thousand so the first the first uh, summoning i think is one thousand to make him two stars, it's five thousand. To make him three stars, it's fourteen thousand. And then to make him four stars, that's forty-five thousand. So this is where I am stopping. I'm not planning to. I'm not hoping to get <laughs> enough uh, frosty coins for the five-star mark. So I suppose what I get extra the the next two days will be for items and or frosty coffers i hope this was informative that you enjoyed this video um, and you found it interesting and um, well leave a like a comment subscribe if you want and i'll see you around there bye bye and take care and <laughs> again thanks to voodoo gagi for the blue axle and for making this contribution for this video See you all. Bye-bye.